Hi, hello again. This is a really lame intro. Yeah, so my name's Charlotte, otherwise known as Waters World by this channel. Um, if you saw my last video about East Coast Australia, you'll know that I just come back from six months traveling. Oh, I just realized I'm looking straight at the fucking viewfinder. That's just... So yeah, this video is gonna be about uh, my travel experience around New Zealand. Um, because my last video was so long, literally I was going through the footage um, and it was over an hour, like way over an hour long, uh, which should be fun for me to edit. Uh, so I'm gonna split this one into two, I think. So I'm gonna do North Island, and then in my next video I'm gonna do South Island. I spent uh, seven weeks in there all together, probably about two and a half to three weeks in the North Island. Um, lots of people debate whether they prefer North Island or South Island. If I'm honest, I can't really decide between the two of them because they were both amazing in different ways. I got to New Zealand and um, my friend Emma, who I'd met during a Trek America tour last year, last May, um, she had already done New Zealand, Australia and whatever and she told me when I go to New Zealand, do the stray bus. Um, the stray bus is basically like a hop on, hop off bus. I booked the Maximus Pass which was basically a big tour of the North Island, big tour of the South Island and then a little bit to go to Stewart Island along the bottom. Most people start in Auckland or Christchurch, you hop on, you, the night before you have to go online and book the date that you want to hop on um, and you do that for every time you want to hop onto the bus so if you just want to stay continuous then you basically set the date to the next available day that that bus leaves. There is another bus service that you can use called the Kiwi Experience. It's by the same company, however I'd been told a lot of the time that it was the party bus like, and the, the shag bus. I'm not really like the party party. party, party. Kind of person. Like, I do enjoy going out and stuff, it's just every single night I'm not I'm not that into it. So yeah, met a great group of people on this bus. Um we went to a place called Hahe and um that's when the next cyclone hit. I forgot what this one was called. Cyclone no, it wasn't Cyclone Cook. It was another cyclone. So we were preparing for the worst. Dory told us to uh, stock up on beer and alcohol and whatever, stock up on food uh, just in case we were there for three nights. So, yeah, me and a few others, especially in our room, I think in all the rooms actually, we were split across three different like cabins, I guess with 10 beds in each. And a lot of us like had a nap when we got to Hahe. And then suddenly like I woke up at one point and I looked outside and there was, there was sun. The sun was there and I was like, <sighs> But the cyclone, the cyclone was meant to hit. <laughs> but no, like, it just all cleared out and the sun was shining brightly. So I went to go find the others and they were playing um, Trivial Pursuit with Dory. But no, the sun came out and we had a, a brilliant couple of days in Hahe after that. We went to places uh, along the way, um, such as Lake Hennefemwa, this Maori family owned it and it was an opportunity for us to experience the Maori culture uh, so we uh, what is the name bear with me Hangi so we experienced the traditional way that uh, Maori cook their dinner which is in a Hangi so you basically there's a big hole dug in the ground and uh, a fire lit full of coals and the coals are left to smolder or whatever. But the food goes in, all wrapped up, put cloth on top and then dirt thrown on top and you leave it for like two or three hours to cook. And we had stuff like chicken, pork. This was just before I came vegetarian whilst I was away. Very tasty actually. Yeah, and then we learned how to do the hacker and we learned Maori stick games. Uh, it was really funny actually because we were doing this routine where you have to stamp the stick, 
pass it along and do other things with the stick and like a circle and the next person has to catch the stick that you throw and you have to catch the stick that this person throws to you and we were like come on guys we can do this and then I was doing absolutely fine come on guys like we can do this and then on the last go when we said just one more time we can get this um, I was the only one that dropped the stick um, sorry guys <laughs> sorry one of those learned how to make like this fried bread uh, that we had with dinner which was absolutely delicious and then I think after that we went to a place called Blue Duck Station that was kind of cool though some people paid to go hunting for animals and killed a goat and I, I'm not really about that um, I did do clay pigeon shooting which I was rubbish at to begin with but when we did the second round I got better and it was like oh no I wish I was like this good in the first round because Jason got all 10 of his clay pigeon what's it I think Lorraine got 8 or 9 after the blue duck station we stayed there for a couple of days I think we did the Tongareo crossing uh, which sort of bypasses Mount Doom from Lord of the Rings uh, that was incredible like it hurt so so much it took about eight eight or nine hours to do me Jason and Lorraine stayed as a little group we, I think we won the last people to finish it but to be fair towards the end I did sprain my ankle on the way down so that was great and it just swelled up I'll probably insert a picture actually if you want to see it it's gonna be here somewhere or just there um, yeah, it's pretty big, pretty swollen, couldn't walk for a few days. Um, yeah. But honestly, the Tongariro Crossing, you see some amazing things, like, there's this red crater, which is just like, is that really there? I would, um, compare it to seeing the Grand Canyon. Uh, for me, the Grand Canyon was just like, nah, this ain't, this ain't real. Like, someone's painted this and just put it right in front of me. Sorry if this looks a bit different, um, my the battery died in my camera so I had to charge it so it's literally like an hour later now and I've had my lunch and stuff. <laughs> so I think I was talking about the Tongarea crossing. Yeah it was so hard like going up for the first hour or two hours like they call it the staircase of death and that is literally what it felt like. I don't know how some people just like march up there, crazy. Yeah, we, we struggled a little bit, but as soon as we got to that top bit with the red crater woods and everything, we were a lot better. And yeah, um, as I said, uh, I sprained my ankle, down my ankle, and I'm pretty sure I heard something pop, and I felt something pop. After the shock died off, I could move my ankle a bit, and we were told that um, if you just sprain your ankle, like a helicopter isn't going to come out and rescue you. you you have to just strap your laces up tight and carry on walking which you know was great so yeah after that i think we went to wellington the next day and wellington was by far my favorite city in new zealand it was just so nice and spaced out and it is true what they say it is the windy capital so bloody cold i decided to stay a bit longer just because I felt like I was travelling a bit too quickly, so with my sprained ankle I couldn't move as fast anyway. So I just decided to stay in Wellington for a bit longer than the others. Like, I hopped off the stray bus for a little bit. Most of the friends that I had made on my first bus had either gone on like the next day, or uh, like Lorraine and Jason, they were doing a working visa anyway, so they stayed in Wellington. So yeah, I think that's all I have really to say about the North Island. Again, if there is any questions, if you are wondering about solo travel or traveling around New Zealand, Australia, um, just please like drop me a message or something. I don't know what else to say now. What I didn't mention in my last video was I, um, I actually have a blog that I wrote throughout my travels. It was, it was like my online diary kind of thing and yeah I really enjoyed doing that, it's got lots of pictures on there um, if you want to check it out I'll leave a link down below, please do check it out I do put some funny things in there, some funny stories which I don't really have time to include in these video things the next video that I'll do will be on um, 
the South Island of New Zealand, which again was incredible. It was just so beautiful. And I did stuff like skydive, I did a heli hike, both on the same day actually. And I did the big Nevis Canyon swing. I hope you have a good day and it's been nice chatting again. Sorry if I've rambled on if this is really long. Um, but yeah, hopefully now you can enjoy the GoPro video that I'm about to add on to the end of this. <laughs> Bye.